warm welcome to journey another day with Jesus into your promised land knowing his will and submitting to his voice Greetings in Jesus name welcome to this beautiful new day I pray that today our faith will constantly be renewed and revived we should not allow the world around us to drain us to cause extra stress to wet us instead we should be the one to give hope to give light to give courage and to give strength to the world around us because that is the will of god concerning our lives he doesn't want us to be people of discouragement he doesn't want us to live disappointed lives He doesn't want us to respond like those that do not have hope and comfort. He wants us to live like children of the light. Let me read this scripture from the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35 and 36. The Bible says, "Do not lose your courage." The Lord is speaking to somebody who is losing their courage, to somebody who is constantly letting their confidence dip the lord is saying do not lose your courage then because it brings with it a great reward when you hold on to your courage when you embrace a season of bad circumstances and you stand up with courage the bible says it brings with it a great reward Are you prepared for the reward that the Lord is about to give you? Are you prepared for the reward that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has known? Then you should not lose your courage in this season. The Lord says, you need to be patient in order to do the will of God and to receive what he promises. So this courage that the Lord wants you to have this courage that the Lord wants you to not lose in your life this courage requires you to be patient this courage will automatically evolve into patience this courage expects you to have a long suffering attitude because if you are not patient you cannot do the will of God If you're not patient, you cannot receive all the reward of what God has prepared for your life. If you're not patient, you will not receive what he promises. So let me read the scripture one more time. It says, "So do not lose your courage because it brings with it a great reward. Instead, you need to be patient in order to do the will of God and receive what he promises i'm sure that we have promises over our lives individually over our families our homes our workplaces our cities and our nations it is necessary that we learn this principle of remaining in a place of courage so that those promises begin to manifest it is necessary my dear friend that we constantly remain patient intentionally pursue patience so that we can see the manifestation of the promises of God in our lives this season the enemy is going to try his best to cause you to be disappointed the enemy is going to bring in negative reports he is going to bring in medical history he is going to bring in all those voices that you thought you have already overcome For some of you there's going to be a repeat of the attacks that you actually thought you've overcome long time back but my dear friend my dear brother my dear sister my dear son or daughter let me speak this into your spirit do not lose your courage because if you do not lose your courage there is a great reward that is waiting for you if you do not give up if you constantly remain patient then there is a will of god that you will be accomplishing there is this promises of god that you will be inheriting in the name of jesus
it is not the will of god for you to lose your courage it is definitely not the will of god for you to be disappointed for you to lose your patience for you to lose your gaze on what god has prepared for you it is the will of god for you to remain steady to remain stable to remain focused to remain constantly rooted in the same place because in due time your harvest will come to you i know that it may almost sound repetitive that i'm telling you so many times in this podcast to not lose your courage if you go back and read joshua chapter 1 you would see that the lord would constantly repeat his words to this young man by the name joshua who had taken up the mantle of leadership over the nation he had to fill moses' shoes and god is speaking to him and kept telling him again and again and again do not be discouraged do not lose your faith be encouraged be strong and courageous and that is the same word the lord is speaking to us again and again and again this morning do not lose your courage because what is standing before you may look like a giant what is standing before you may look like a mountain what is standing before you may look like an endless ocean but in the name of jesus every giant will fall in the name of jesus every oceans will part and in the name of jesus mountains will be cast into the sea all you have to do is be patient all you have to do is not to give up all you have to do is stay steady and stay strong because it is the will of god for you to inherit his promises this weekend as you go to church or meet with people be a carrier of hope be a carrier of grace there are people out there who don't have the same access to this voice like you do so you have to be the extension of god's grace to them you have to be the carrier of good news instead of constantly complaining about all the bad things in your life you need to be the carrier of good news may the lord use you to bring hope to restore life to strengthen and encourage someone else to rebuild someone else's faith over the course of this weekend our father we thank you for this beautiful morning time we thank you for the courage that you're instilling into our hearts we thank you for you speaking to us about the importance of doing the will of god by not giving up by being patient by experiencing suffering for a long period of time give us the grace to inherit the promises that you have planned and prepared for us in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for listening. Hope today's word will encourage you and build you for the day ahead. God bless you and shalom.